In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can rationalize a binomial radical expression in the denominator of a fraction, where there is also a binomial in the numerator. What this means is, there is adding and subtracting in both the numerator and denominator. We've got two terms, and so we can't just multiply by the square root of 2 to clear that radical. It doesn't work if there's two terms in there, because we can't multiply by part. We'd have to multiply by everything, and we end up with a 2 root 2, and that's no good. So instead, to clear a binomial radical in the denominator, we know we can multiply by the conjugate, 2 plus the square root of 2. Same terms, but we change it to addition instead of subtraction. And we do the same thing in the numerator and denominator. As we do, the denominator is easy to multiply because they're conjugates, and when we FOIL that out, the outside and inside terms are going to subtract to 0. We only really need to multiply the first, 2 times 2, to get 2. I'm sorry, 2 times 2 is 4. And the last, negative root 2 times positive root 2 is negative. And with two 2's under the radical, we pull a single one out. Nothing left in the radical. In the numerator, though, we need to be a little more careful, because we're not multiplying the 2 plus 2 root 2 by just the 5 or just the 3. We're multiplying by the entire thing. This means we're going to have to FOIL out that numerator. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times root 2 is 3 root 2. Negative root 5 times 2 is negative 2 root 5. And negative root 5 times positive root 2 is negative root 10. The only simplifying we have here, then, is the 4 minus the 2 comes out to 2, so we end up with 6 plus 3 root 2 minus 2 root 5 minus root 10 over 2. We can't do any reducing here, because if there was any reducing, we would have to factor first. Because there is no factoring available, this is going to become our final solution.